says my oh my The ladies are falling and they like it They fall into his arms I just got a call from the guy who made the deal for me over there He says I must come there and defend the proposal myself So for how long will you be gone now? Then I have not seen this is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I must go back so I can close this deal. Huh? I promise you, as soon as I'm back, I'll spend all the time with you and Dio. Yeah, baby. We could even take a vacation. Anywhere you want in the whole world. London, Sweden, Germany. Philippines, Japan, South Africa, Bahamas, Hawaii. Hawaii? Deal. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I'll take you to Hawaii. I will definitely miss both of you. Oh, come on, smile now. You're not here to leave you like this now, please. Smile, baby. Alright. Do take care of my baby, okay? No. Do take care of yourself, okay? Alright, love. Yeah. Alright. Say goodbye to Daddy. Bye. Bye. I asked John to go and confirm my ticket for Sunday. Until I left the office, the guy didn't come. I'm sure he was still calm. Do you know, maybe something even happened. My parents changed the guest list again. They've added like about 100 more names. And my mom is an insist on the venue. And the decorations. Honestly, I don't care about the details of the wedding. What's most important to me is who I'm wedding. And that's you, baby. Yeah, that's true. Have you um, checked out the order placed on your suit? Because, you know, I don't have a problem. That is paying for my trip to Paris and um, Can we just cut down on this mom and dad talk, please? Alright? Whatever you do about and concerning the wedding is a-okay with me. Alright? Hi mom! Hi dad! Hi sweetheart, how are you? Fine, thank you. How's your day? Fine, thank you. Oh. Nello was here. Really? Yeah. Um, she went to her car to pick something. Didn't you see how you're waiting? No. Why didn't she phone me? Oh, she said she's been trying your number to no avail. That's not true. That girl. Her battery is dead. I hope you guys are preparing for the most wonderful wedding of your life. You bet. Yeah? I just spoke to the vice president and uh, <coughs> he has promised to grace the occasion with his presence. Oh my god. Talking about George, <coughs> where is he? I need to speak with him urgently. George is in London. I'm afraid he will have to wait till he gets back. Okay. Mommy, did you prepare the fish you promised? Oh, yes, I did, darling. Oh, well, let me go see that uh, crazy friend of mine called Nello. Why are you to do tell my to bring my salary for me? Oh, I don't know.
What are you thinking? And you, mademoiselle. I got a friend. Come in, Sava. Please just stop this French thing. That's all this. Well, just practicing my French before I lose touch, you I know. See. Yeah, right. <laughs> Look at you, girl. You look good. Thank you. <laughs> so what's up with you? You told me you were coming back, but I didn't expect you this soon, you know. Hey, aren't you happy to see me? Well, though only for a short while, you know. I came because of the wedding. You know I would not miss that for anything. Now, no, you haven't changed one bit, girl. <laughs> so, how is the lucky guy? And when do I have the pleasure of meeting him? Wedding? Hope he's cute. Well? You will meet him as soon as he gets back to London. Oh, yeah. And trust me, he is so cute! You could! I like that when I hear him. <laughs> Wait, have you heard from Tina? Oh, she's in town! Oh, yeah? Yeah! Oh, looks like I'm gonna have fun! Well, you bring it on, girl! Come on, girl! <laughs> Is anything the matter? It's the proposal. It was approved. That's good news. So, why the troubled look? Yeah, 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 it's good news, all right. Good news. The problem is, wait, why wait? Two million dollars to execute the deal. Two million what? What kind of a deal is that? It's cool. You know, like charcoal, but they hadn't won. I need two million dollars to lift it. If not, someone else will get the, will get the deal. Babe, you will not believe this deal is worth twice the capital. That's the profit. I'm telling you, baby, we will be rich. I don't want this deal to pass us by. Um, how genuine is this deal? Oh, listen dear, lots of people get swindled through deals like this. It is genuine. The government of Sierra Leone is also involved in this. The problem is where do I raise the capital? Uh, why, why not talk to the bank? I think they'll be interested in it. Bank? Bank. You know how these bank people could be sometimes? It could take weeks or months for them to even look at your proposal, let alone give you the loan. And this thing I'm talking about needs to be done in a couple of days. Okay, I'll put in a word for you with the bank manager. You know that is a major shareholder. Huh? Chill. 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 Eh? It's okay. Just chill. Okay. Okay. It's okay. I hope you approve the Thank you. Yeah, Paris, it's a, it's a beautiful place. I was actually hoping to stop by, you know, before coming to Nigeria, but of course, I had to come straight because of Barbie's wedding. Yeah, yeah. So is it true what they say? See Parry and I? Guys, guys, that reminds me. Mm -hmm. Guess what? What? Well, my dad is sponsoring my vacation to Paris. Woo! My wedding treats. That's yeah. good. You know, I've, never, I've never been to Paris before. Yeah. Why didn't this is the last time we spoke on the phone? I mean, I would have waited for you so the two of us to come down to Nigeria. Yeah, hello, yeah. Hello, please. Mm -hmm. What? We all know you're always globetrotting around Europe, never stay in one place. Watch your mouth. Look, what would a single girl like me be doing in one place? I mean, actually sitting in one place doing nothing. Oh no, please, please. Listen, I need to catch my phone. No, I, I really need to catch my phone before one man comes with his miniature handcuff to imprison me for life. You go, girl. <laughs> you don't know me now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bobby. When am I going to meet George? I'm not coming to your wedding if I don't meet George. Before the wedding, that is. Okay, I on, tell girl. you. I hope he's as good looking as you say he is. 
Because if you guys know me, I can't stand ugly guys. Trust me, he is fine. Hi, hi, honey. Welcome back. How did it go? Yeah, we're able to get a positive reply from the back. Hi, baby. It's fine. The bank says I shouldn't expect anything any other than three weeks. Um, okay. Why don't we sell the house and some other things? Wait, don't, don't, don't even go there. We can't sell the house. We can't. It's our gift from your father. It symbolizes a lot of things, baby. Our lives. Family. Yeah. Okay, um, what about the company's accountant? Can't you get some money from the accountant? At least you should be able The to company pay. does not have money. Baby, don't you see? I'm stuck. I'm so frustrated. I don't know what to do. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> it's okay. I I'm just gonna let this be pass us. No, it won't. It won't. I believe things will take shape, okay? Okay? of cash. I'm gonna lose that deal. Not sleeping. Cannot get to the money either. Okay? I could help you talk to Dad's lawyer. Maybe he will do something. At least part of the capital, okay? Darling. Yes. Darling. I just... I just thought of an idea. What? Baby, what if... What? What if you sell your stock? So, yes, baby, it will go a long way in, in solving the problem. I can't possibly sell the stock. I can't. Dad won't let me sell either. That's why you made this lawyer my guy. Yes, I know. But if you sell the stock, yeah? We'll be able to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. Maybe we'll be able to buy more stocks and, and buy these bigger companies. Come on. I don't know. I don't know. Please, baby, please. Okay, you know what? I, I could. I don't know. I'll just see the lawyer tomorrow. Okay? Oh, no. you, you, you have to convince your lawyer, okay? Tell him it's really important. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So I will. I will. Can we now have some sleep? Of course. Thank you. Darling, mm -hmm. there is no direct flight to Sierra Leone today. Yeah, I'll drive down to Abuja and grab Sierra Leone from there. Quite a journey. Why not wait till the day after tomorrow when there will be one leaving from here? Uh, no, sweetie, I can't wait. I can't wait. It'll be too late. Don't worry, it's just a six hour drive, okay? Hmm? Alright? Oh my keys. Uh, are you driving yourself down? Yes. I'll take the Mazda. The driver will take you with a Jeep anywhere you want to go to. Okay? I've made arrangements for the car to be returned. Um, from the airport. You don't have to worry, okay, baby? 
Now, you don't miss me too much, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll try. I love you. I love you too. I'll just be gone for a week, alright? Okay. I love you. I love you too. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Good looking, sweet talking guy. This is the news flash. This afternoon, a Mazda 626 model car with registration number LA640 EKJ had an accident along Abuja Mina Expressway. This car fell into a dish and caught fire, and no victim survived. We will be detailed in the short time. The ladies are falling and they like it. They fall into his arms. He falls into their pockets. Oh, you're falling. Well, they're falling. I actually told that you're coming back today. Ah, oh, I cannot That's believe it. In a few weeks time, he'll be mine forever. Well, he can say that again. <laughs> Look at you. Tell me, how was your trip? How is London weather? You know? You will not believe it. It's summer and I didn't have time to like, enjoy myself. It was work all the time. Would you like to go with me to Paris? I could talk to Dad. It will be fun. No, no, no. You just go. Catch your phone. I'll be working here, yeah. So you just go have the fun. I'll be back quickly, okay? How long will you be gone for? Two weeks. So when are you leaving? Next week. Oh, great. That gives you time to have all the fun you want. Sure. Look at you. Look at you. What are we eating anyway? See your cheeks, your mouth. What I really want you to do for me is give me particulars of your company. It will help my associates and me plan the contract execution. Hmm? Okay, Chief. I'll bring it to your office first thing tomorrow morning. Um, Chief, I am very grateful, sir. So it's okay. Incidentally, I am meeting my associates tomorrow morning. And um, it will be a very good opportunity for me to, you know, introduce you to them. So make yourself available. Oh, I'm only a phone call away, sir. Sir, I... I cannot thank you enough. Hello? Oh, this is the beginning of very good things to come your way. And um, remember, your wedding is just a couple of weeks away. And it will be yet another opportunity for you to meet the movers and shakers of this great country. Chief, I am so grateful, sir. Accepting me into the family, no, taking me as your son, and your encouragement, your advice, and everything makes me feel like I'm a part of this family. It's okay. Thank it's you, a sir. Pleasure. It's a pleasure. Uh, Bobby, I'm out of drinks. I'm sorry, no money. Come on, go get the drinks. I'm going. <laughs> I think it's not a bad idea using him after all. That's right. That's why I said the ball rolling. Well, at least that would take the government's uh, law enforcement and attention away from us. Mm -hmm. And talking about those two, they surely remind me of when we were younger. <laughs> and remember, we're getting older now. And um, I need somebody to take over from me when I retire. Bobby will be able to do it. Well, uh, talking about Bobby, have you informed the house about her wedding? Oh yes, I have, I have. And um, they know George is my son in law to be. Well, if that's the case, my bit is done. I'm expecting a call from the government in two hours. And uh, my wife expects me to get it today. Thank you, then. All right, then. Thanks, Thanks for me. stopping by. It's my pleasure. We've sold the stocks. All the money has gone down the drain. And you have lost your seat 
the one of natives. I, I really don't know what to do. I've looked through all his documents. Mm -hmm. But I can't find any clue as to any of the people involved in his deal. I, I, I even made a series of calls to Sarah but no clue whatsoever. I, I believe he traveled with all the documents in connection to that deal. Are you saying that you left your company for your husband to run and you never showed any interest of how it was being run? At least you should be requested to know the details of the deal. Mama, I am disappointed in you. Oh God. I can't believe this is happening to me. Are you Are you saying that? I've lost all that money to a car accident. No, 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 no. What I am trying to tell you is that there is no way we can trace the amount where the money was forged because we have no documents to back it up. Everything was burnt to ashes, nothing was retrieved from the car. As you know. So. You are telling me that. I have nothing left but Dios trust fund. I'm afraid so, yes. Look, look, look. I'll, uh, I'll make some calls and see what I can do, okay? Okay. Perhaps my girl too. Mm -hmm. Tell me, have you been seeing this bank manager of yours? Yes. I'll be seeing her tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Please call me if you find anything. You bet I will. If the money was transferred from here, we would have been able to trust the account. Are you not a banker? The money was in our account before my husband's death. from you is to help me get my money back from wherever it was transferred to. The last banking transactions we had with your husband, he withdrew all the money. He said he was going to pay directly. I don't know what that meant. This is not fair. Where do I start from? How do I run the company? my seat as one of the directors of the company. It's okay. It's okay. Take it easy. At least you have your life to live. You have Daniel to live for. I know it's not easy, but you can just pick the pieces of your life back together again and move on. Thank you very much. See you some other time. Hold on. You know you could still apply for a loan. The procedures would be lenient after all. Your father was a major shareholder in this bank. Think about it. I was actually thinking of that. Okay, do. You must be George. And you must be Tina. You're right. <laughs> and you must be Nana. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm impressed. Impressed about? Nothing, darling. Let's talk. <laughs> See you guys then. He's upstairs. He was studying. Okay, I'll go see him now and 
get back to you later, okay? I'll walk with you. Alright, baby. Nice to meet you, girls. Uh, excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> girls, Girlfriend, you're cute. I can imagine all I would do with such a big beard. Ah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nello, Nello, please. He is off limits. I mean no harm. I mean no harm. I was only admiring the work of God. Oh, yeah, right. <coughs> Girlfriend, mm -hmm. he is fine. I think I agree with that part. Well, you can say that again. I found him and I am keeping him. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Good. Well, you're one damn lucky daughter of God, you know. Anyway, I hope he's as good there as he looks. <laughs> I doubt if that's any business of yours. Trust me, girls. He is good. I mean, Bobby. What? What? Anyway. You asked me. <laughs> I'm jealous, so I wish I had him first. Ah, Nelo, please, we all know what you are. How many eligible bachelors have you dated and dumped? If you had him first, the story would have been the same, so please. That's not true. Look, all the young guys I dated in the past, they were all boring. I mean, they had no fire in them. Oh, please. For me, that is a total turn off. Oh, we've heard that so many times. We've heard that so many times, please. Please, Nelo. For me, I have found everything I want and need in a man. Ooh. But you need to see my parents. You need to see how my parents just dealt on him. Well, if you ever, ever get tired and bored of him, just call me. You know how to get Excuse me? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. Hang on. My lips. He is my He is my husband. Okay? My husband. Not any of those guys that you can you think you can just play so whatever. <laughs> now we all know what Nello is, but I don't think she would go that far. Come on. Or would you? Please will you girls just quit talking about me, please. You wouldn't dare, would you? Stop discussing you. What would you drink? Good looking, sweet talking guy. Every girl that sees him says my oh my The ladies hey. are so hey. 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 How are you doing? The fall into fine, fine. You look good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm already tired of car I know. I still have front rocks. <laughs> I understand. Say, I heard um Tina's being eligible below the river. That's the game. How is she doing now? I just she's not better now, you know. Okay. So what's your day like? Oh, tiring, you know. But it's okay. Uh, say, you might for another drink? Of course, I don't mind. As long as it's coming from Alright, come on. Oh, 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 he's a two-faced So how long have you guys been friends? Since childhood. We attended the same schools, you know. Um, shared boyfriends and um, did a lot of things together. Wow. Very, very hot. You bet. Your father owns Carbon Oil, yeah? Yeah. I've been trying to get this contract out there for a while now, and it's been quite impossible. So what happened? Weren't qualified enough to get the contract? I know about that. You know how it is in this country now. You have to know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. Anyway, next week I'm going to write a proposal to them and I hope I get it this time. You just let me know when and the contract is yours. It's yours, aren't you? I am. But don't you think it's going to... Oh, please, not to worry. I mean, the pleasure is all mine. Look, Bobby is a dear friend of mine. Anything to make her happy. Really? Mm -hmm. Thank you. So when are you coming to mama? Thanks for me. I'm waiting. Mommy. Why have you refused to see Mona Lisa? Do you know how difficult it is to get her off her busy schedule? Mommy, I already told you. I don't want to see Mona Lisa. You have no choice, my dear. It's only two days to your wedding. And you have refused to see the best makeup beautician in town. Come on, 
girl. I expect a little more class from you. Mommy, mommy, please. I consulted one of the best positions while in Paris and got some makeup tips from him. And I also, I also got some cosmetics from him. What do I need to see Mona Lisa for? Well, Mona Lisa is the best in Calabar. And the higher mighty use her. In a couple of hours, she'll be here. So please, make yourself available. Mommy, I already made arrangements with Cherise. Cancel it and that's final. For Christ's sake, Mommy, it's my wedding and not your wedding. We've made all the arrangements and now I don't even have a say as in whom I want as my petition. I will resent that one of yours. Mona Lisa is making you up and that's final. I spoke to my father concerning your proposal and uh, it has been approved. Wow. Thanks a lot. Yes. That was fast. You're welcome. Be there first thing on Monday morning. I also made you approved funds for the job execution. Really? Of course I did. Oh, baby, thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Baby. Yeah, what do you think Bobby would do? Keep Bobby out of this, please. <laughs> Don't even mention it to her. Remember, she's my friend. Now, who do you want to introduce your brother's marriage? Okay, okay. So, when do you plan leaving the country? Maybe after the wedding. Uh, thank you, baby. No, Copa. I'll be there Monday, okay? Alright. Come on, give me a hug. Yeah? Do you want mom to give up? Hey, you're killing me, man. Oh, George! Good afternoon. How are you? Good to Bye. see you. Hey, hey. Oh, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. I'm sorry I had to cut your honeymoon short. But there's something very important I have to discuss with you. Mm, it's okay, sir. It's all right. On behalf of Bobby and I, we'd like to thank you for giving us the most wonderful honeymoon package. It was more than anything for my little girl and my son in law. <laughs> uh, do sit down. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, is that the contract has been approved. The funds has been released, yes. And um, my associates and I decided that the money will be paid into your company account and you in turn will pay it into my account as we agreed. That's the problem, sir. So when are we kicking up? Tomorrow. And how's my darling daughter? <laughs> she's fine. Her mom tells me she's pregnant. Is it true? Bobby. Bobby! It was going to be a surprise. <laughs> yeah, well, it is, sir. Uh, it is. Yeah. Congratulations, my boy. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. By the way, where's mommy? Um, I think she must be in the kitchen somewhere. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give her a surprise. Okay. Meanwhile, yeah. sir, I brought lots of goodies for you. So oh, you did? Yes, I did. <laughs> the money has been paid into my account that you're aware of. And, um, yeah, I'm also told that Chief works hand in hand with, with the bank. That's true. We handle all his financial transactions. Okay, I see. Okay, this is what you do for me. Um, first thing tomorrow morning, pay the money into my foreign account. Um, and your usual 10% service charge can be taken. Okay? Well, huh? I'll do that. Oh, whoa, whoa. Mm, not so fast, baby. Where are you going? Looking for me? Of course not. I just came for a quick lunch. I'm on my way out now. Okay. So, bye. Okay. Bye. Please, uh, hello. Don't. Not too fast. Yeah. George, let her join us. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Of course. Come on, come on. Uh, come on, Tina. Uh, do oblige us, okay? Uh, 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 okay, okay. But briefly. Problems, huh? yeah. Mm. Mm. Come on. Oh, yeah. Wow. How are you? So, how is uh, and the pregnant? Ah, Bobby is fine. Or should I say they are fine? Oh, okay. It's just that sometimes she needs lots of attention and she gets tired easily. Of course. You your stuff. Yeah, I'd like to introduce you to my friend and banker, Jide. Jide, this is one of my wife's very good friends, um, Tina. Come on, say hi. I'm very pleased. I'm honored. And say bye, okay? Good looking, <laughs> sweet talking guy. George. <laughs> 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 and thank you 
for making me meet the most wonderful woman the God has ever created. Flatteries will get you nowhere, I'm right. right. <laughs> Thank you for the food. Oh, that's all right. Oh, you know, my wife cooks good. <laughs> She's good. Um, that is. Yes, sir. Mello called. She said she'll really? be going to Paris from UK before coming to Nigeria. Oh, fantastic. How mm. do you get to spend time with us? No, she won't. You're right. Um, I hope you guys are coming for the beach game tomorrow, yeah? Of course. Ah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. Make sure you come dressed and everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 You know how Melo is, you know, she's spoiled, I mean, she's crazy. I trust no like, please don't bring her to this house. What do you mean you shouldn't bring her to this house? So wait, 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 you expect me to drop my childhood friend just simply because you don't like her? By the way, what has she done? Look, your friends, all your friends, I'm sorry to say, are loose, okay? Especially Melo, whose attitude I detest. You know what, George, you know what? You're really not making any sense to me right now. Alright? I'm off to bed. Join me if you care. Niger Delta area. Rivers stay to be precise. Oh, okay. yeah. So, what does Tami do for a living? I had um, a branch of my organization here. Okay. What's the nature of your job? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's just say we are in the business of um, discovery. Okay. Yeah, enough about me. Let's talk about it for a while. You... What would you like to know about me? Are you worried? I can't help you. Let me drop you.
time I ever had ice cream in my life. Yeah. That's when I was celebrating my fifth birthday. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that picture you saw now? Yes. Yeah, that reminds me. Who was that woman in that picture? The one holding you? Hmm. That was the only woman that ever loved me in this life. That's until the day I met you. Who was she? She was someone that took care of me at the orphanage. Orphanage? Yeah. I don't I don't understand. Um, um I know I've not told you this before, but um, the truth is I'm an orphan. I grew up in an orphanage. I I really don't understand. You never told me anything about your family, but I never imagined you being an orphan. You know what, I I really don't like talking about it. Thinking of it alone reminds me of sad times and brings sad memories. Can we like change the subject? But there was one woman that loved me. That was the woman you saw in the picture. She loved me so much. She took very good care of me. And things changed for a while. I felt loved, comforted. Things took a turn around when, when she died. And the hatred started all over again. I was being hated, beaten, molested. And so at the age of 15, I ran away from the orphanage. I had to do menial jobs, sell electronics, food stuff, apples, in traffic. I became a bus conductor at some point. I was even a houseboy. Just to put shelter over my head. And to educate myself. I struggled. I struggled. to confirm this deposit slip from your bank. It's from us, by the way. And uh, it was deposited months before his death. That's from the date I'm seeing here. But, uh, hold on a minute. It's just the Calabar. How many times has money been paid into this account? Mm, let's see. Three times in the last three years. Does this have anything to do with the code you? Oh, no, no, not at all. Sure? Yes. Um, I have to go now. See me at your family. Okay. I thought you were not going to do that. Of course I would. How come you're not wet and it's raining cats and dogs outside? I parked in the garage. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, where are the things I asked you to get for me? Downstairs. You're smart. Don't worry, my boy. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Mm, that's good. You didn't remember to bring me the ball you promised. That you. That's wrong. Let me handle it. I forgot the ball. But I promise I'll get you to me instead. Is that okay? Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Keep it like that. This is John was taken on his fifth birthday, but this other one was taken when the mother celebrated her 53rd birthday. Mother, I, I thought it was a mother. No. The woman standing here is the mother. She died two years ago. You see, the woman in that picture came to Lagos 32 years ago. She's a Nigerian from Onicha. She met and fell in love with a Kalabama who came into Onicha for business. She was pregnant for him. She came into Lagos with her husband. And unfortunately for her, he died two days after, not giving her opportunity of meeting his people. With no money, no husband, she could not go back to Nature. She took a job with us here in the orphanage. She was so hard working. We are located a house for her. She had her baby here. The baby grew up like every other child. Was given the basic education and life as every other privileged child. The last time we saw him was when the mother was buried. Precisely three years ago, he said he was relocating to Calabar in search of the father's relation. Since he could not trace the mother's. Obi, as we all call him, was loved by everyone. He was a very great help to this orphanage financially. I'm sorry if this is shocking to you. To say that this is shocking is an understatement. But it's a revelation. Come back some other time. It's okay. to meet someone here. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I always know what I'm thinking. <laughs> What's funny? Did you make a call to an organization asking for a private investigator? Yes. And how did you get to me? Because I work with that organization. 
I don't understand you, Emma. Do you have to investigate me before you marry me? Is there anything in life to your contract? You do ask me what is wrong with me? We are the one with the problem. Imagine all the things we've been dating. You never really told me the true nature of your job. But when I told you I was in the business of discovery, did you think I was joking? Did you? that my, my job demands a lot of secrecy okay the last thing I want to do is to hurt you and die I want to render my service again okay? I want to help okay Please. this this few weeks has been one shock about the other for me to investigate my husband, Daily Judge, and find out the connection he has with George Obi. As in the late Daily Judge? Yes. <laughs> Daily is very much alive and in Calabar. Bobby, are you okay? What's up? Honestly, I didn't. Stephanie was up all night. She has a cold. Is she okay now? Yeah, she's alright. She's with my mom. She wants to get movies and things like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nanu, why does she always have to keep us waiting? <laughs> Can you tell? So what's the occasion? Why did you ask us here? Sit down. Who is that? From Tom Boys. It's me, Steve. So, what's the occasion? You actually called us here for what? Oh, anyway, mm -hmm. a certain someone yes. that I have been close to for a while now mm -hmm. asked me. We question. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh my god, this is wonderful. Oh god, I'm so happy for you. This is real. This is real. Oh my god. Please, please. Yes, 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 My name is Nello. This is Tina. Bobby, my friend. Tina is the reason for our little celebration here. Hi. My name is Tamuno. My friends call me Tammy. It's Tammy. So what's the occasion? Oh, Tina is engaged to her fiance. Wow. <laughs> that calls for a celebration. Oh, of course it oh, does. Of course. Let me order some champagne. Oh, that'd be nice. Waiter. So do you guys come here often? Well, well, we have something. No, we don't come here. <laughs> well, I'm thinking of relocating to Nigeria. Now that my father is thinking of retiring. That's nice. So, how is Barbie and her family? I guess she's fine. I haven't seen them for a couple of days now. You know, I was wondering why is she not working? Why is it with you and Barbie? Ever since we came here, all you've been doing is talking about Barbie. No, no, no please, please, please. For your information, she's married, okay? I just want to know who your friends are so that I can relate to them better. That's Can you wait till you see them again? Please, excuse me. Please, please, please. Please, please. Please. 
Why should I be mad at you? I'm sorry. Please. Please, I don't want to get angry. Is there anybody in this house? Is there anybody? Hey, what's happening? Hey. Welcome back. How did you get back? I just got in. <laughs> My things are actually in the car. You know, I missed you so much, I had to come here first. <laughs> how is that, yo? He's fine. He's asleep. Okay. So, how did it go? Because I was full. Yeah. I got all the information we need. Who are these people? Bella George is alive and well. He's the same person as George B. Uh, the other pictures are those of his wife and daughter. Uh, she's two years old. The guy is a skinner. He has gotten himself hooked up to a bigger fish in Calabar. She's the daughter of a minister. Uh, there is a piece of paper inside. It contains all the information you need. His office address, his home address, and the name of his wife and daughter. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. He said he would do anything. He said he would do anything for me. I guess what I'm trying to say is, for so many years, I lost love. And now I've found love again. Amma, will you marry me? I, 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 I don't know what to say. I'm too shocked for words. Yes, I understand. If you say no, I feel to understand. They, what is a rich girl like you? A moon body like me. I understand. Hmm. I'll marry you. I don't care about the past. All the family I ever wanted.
can't you get it to your thick score that I'm married to your best friend? Bro, shut up! Didn't you know you were married to her before you hit on me? Now you're trying to put the blame on me. I'm going to ask again. What do you want? Barbie could come in any minute. Alright. Alright. It's been more than a year since I made my old father. Give your company a contract that you truly didn't deserve. And you have refused to execute the job, even when money has been paid to you. But I made it clear to you that the materials needed to execute the job is to be imported. I need time for that to be done. That was what you said last year. Six months ago. And even three months ago. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please, why don't you just try something else? Huh? Okay, just... Give me time, all right? Just give me some time to get myself together and the job will be done. You can tell that to your father. It's just that ever since then, my father has been on my case and I do so Take it easy. Says my oh my, and, and they like him. They fall into his arms. He falls into their pocket. See them, love them, use them, dump them, and be on your way. That's the game he plays. From one woman to another. Ooh. You're drinking it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with Barbie. She's not picking my calls. And then Nelly just, just woke up and left the country like that. With very short notice. Good for you. I've told you, just forget about these people. We have a wedding to plan. Abby? So when are you coming to see my uncle? Um, next weekend. Come, sweetheart. It's not like that. See, I'm on credit and I'll need to do a lot of running around, public relations. And when I come back, I have to write the call memo. Understand me, please. So let's make it next weekend. Okay? I called you because there's something I need to tell you. But I don't think this is the right time to tell you about it or to discuss it with you. What is it? Do you know what, what's up? What's going on? It's not about our relationship. I know you're afraid. It's about my job. About your work? It's about my job. 
so much for friendship. I loved you girls. I loved you and Nelu like you were my sisters. But Nelu betrayed our friendship. I don't know what to say, okay? I mean, I, I haven't heard from Nelo since she went to Paris, but that's still not enough reason for you not to want to see him. Look, Tina, Tina, I don't want to sound nasty, all right? But I think you should leave. Now. I also don't think it's wise for you to come here looking for me again. Papi, has it, has it come to this? Papi, you and I have been friends from childhood. You're ready to throw all that away just because of Nello's mistake? Good night. Go. I can't believe this. What is it? Judith, how long have you known Georgia? A couple of years or thereabouts. I'm going to say two years. Why are you asking? I went to see Bobby yesterday. Bobby said I should stop coming to her house. She doesn't want her friendship anymore. I should keep up. Why would she say such a thing? I mean, it's strange. Well, she said... She said she caught Nello trying to seduce George. Oh. And so because of that, she's lost confidence in her friends and... If, if, if they don't want you to come around them again, it's okay. Just let her be. Forget about her. Jide, there's something phony about George. There's something fake about him. I can't place my hands Sweetheart. on it, but... See, see, see. I want you to forget about George. Forget about Nello. All of them, they are not important. You should be thinking about me. <laughs> think about me, think about me. No, I should be thinking about so me. So, are you thinking now? Of course I'm thinking now. About me. What's up? Can I stay inside? Well, when I said to go with you. Yeah. Okay, like this one now, let's see. Hi, pretty lady. Hi. Hi. My name is George. George Obi. Um, Kita Mutashi. Kita Mutashi. Well, Kito, you see, I would like you to help me out here. Um, I want your own opinion on a car. I want to get my mother a car. So, from a feminine point of view, what would you take? A car? Yeah, a car. For your mother? Exactly. Well, nothing too big. Or something very slick. Slick. You know what I mean? I feel you, baby. I think like this? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Just what I thought. I'll take this, yeah? Thank you. You're welcome. Muteshi. That name doesn't sound Nigerian. Mm -mm. I am Kenyan. Kenyan? So what's a pretty lovely Kenyan girl looking for in this neighborhood? I've been here a couple of weeks. I'm into construction. Wow. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. You're not Professor Muteshi's daughter, are you? The Kenyan ambassador to Nigeria? <laughs> God! Oh, you know him? Yeah! It's a small world! Oh my God! Really nice to meet you, Kita! Nice. Yes. You look beautiful. I thank God for the day I met you. I thank God for us too. You know, I thought I loved you. 
poor boy was I wrong. I really, really, really love you. When I got to this, in appreciation of whom you are and what you've done in my life. In the garage lies one of the sleekest babies in the world. A jaguar. Oh my god! Are you surprised? Yes! yes! <laughs> Good looking, sweet talking guy. Every girl I see says, Anything for you, baby. Anything for you. I love you. The ladies are falling and they like it. I think we should go home and do a special celebration just for two of us. You took the words right out of my mouth, girl. Come on. I want to go to Canada. What for? I want to get my money back from that ghost. Don't. Why do you propose to do that? I need you to help me with the traveling arrangements. You know I've never been to Canada before. I need a good hotel close to his house. I think you should call a lawyer into this, okay? I don't um, want you involved in anything dangerous. I want to handle him my own way. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. When do you want to leave? As soon as possible. Yeah, I have friends in Carabao okay, who they have um, you. Honestly, I'll be fine. All I need is for you to help me put an eye on Bio. I'll be fine. I still insist. You take my names and my friends in Carabao. We're in the same kind of business and, you know, they could come in handy. Okay, if that will make you happy. Sorry for that interruption. Mm -hmm. <coughs> As I was saying, Daniel's trust fund cannot be touched until he's well, right? Right. And I'm um, the custodian to it. Correct. Okay. What if something goes wrong somewhere or something happens to me? What happens to Daniel? Nothing. Daniel will be well taken care of until he's 21 and able to touch his money. But by the way, why are you asking me all these questions? Nothing. I just want to make sure that Daniel's future is secured. You never can tell what life may be out tomorrow. What, with the kind of money his grandfather left for him? Daniel's future is secured for life. Anyway, I want you to arrange a hundred and fifty thousand naira for me. And what do you need the money for? I'm traveling to Canada. Canada? If I may ask, why are you traveling to Canada? Business? I have to sort out some things in Canada. Mm. Besides, I need a holiday. Don't you think so? <laughs> yes, you can say that again. Uh, Why do I come for the money? Mm. First thing, tomorrow morning. Alright then. Thank you very much. Welcome. Amma. Actually, I'm near in town. Yeah, I, th I thought so because I've never seen your face around. Yeah, see? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm Bobby. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You see, I'm a keep fit fanatic. And I was directed to this gym by the manager of the hotel where I'm lodged. 
go on the hotel. Do you have friends or family around? Oh no. I'm here on a holiday. Well, from the little I've seen, I say Calabar is a beautiful town. Very little hitch here and there. I hope I enjoy my stay. I'm sure you will. Well, it was nice meeting you. Uh, maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, sorry, sorry to bother you. Do you think I can get a cab out there? Where are you going? Somewhere along Marion Road. Lock is on your side. That is my roots. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Something about your eyes. It's so attractive, desirable, really sexy. Listen, it's been nice meeting you. I have to go now. Yeah, I will. I'll see you again. Good looking, sweet talking guy Every girl I season says my oh my The ladies are falling and they like him They fall into his arms He falls into their pocket See them 
love them, use them, dump them, and be on your way. That's the game he plays from one moment to another, one plan to the other. Soon he will vanish without a trace. The two faced lover never comes to stay. Oh, oh, he's a two faced lover. Changing all the time oh, oh, From one girl to the other oh, oh, Money on his mind That is. Yeah. I don't know how you do what you do, man. <laughs> Emma, my third wedding anniversary is coming up soon. I was wondering if you'd still be around and if you'd like to come. No, exactly. Next weekend. Gosh, I have so much to do. Planning, you know, trying to get everything together just to make sure my parents are not disappointed because they always say, I don't have class to match the social status. <laughs> you have the right class, girl. Yeah. Yeah, I believe I'll still be around then. Oh. I hope to meet your class. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Um, well, I don't know. I said I was going to run it by you. And I was wondering if you would like to go with me to see the caterers, you know, so we can go through the menu together, rub lines. My parents have this Lagosian couple as well, they're coming for the party, so you see them and you feel like home. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Oh, cool. All right. Aren't you done yet? One more time, please. Oh, I'm tired. I can't count. I'm tired. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Sorry I kept you waiting. I had a meeting with my dad. That's all right. I'm really kind of late myself. I have to rush back to the office. Well, sorry, darling, but I know this is short notice. But I must go to Kenya tomorrow. It's kind of short notice. Ah, um, so where does that, where does that leave us? I mean, is it, is it over? No, 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 no. Nothing has changed between us. I have given um, your proposal to my dad, and he has promised to look into it. Nothing has changed. Kita, can't you postpone this trip? I really hate not having you around. George, come with me to Kenya. We can merge our companies together. You did say you didn't have a life anymore in Nigeria. So let's go to Kenya. Let's start a new life, together. Oh. Yeah, yeah, why not? Why not? As long as I'm going to live with you the rest of my life. Yeah? Okay, you know what? You, you, you'll give me a couple of weeks or a month so I can put myself together. And I'll come join you again. You're serious? You're serious, aren't you? Uh, yes! I love you. I don't know much. But I know I love you. And I'll miss you. <laughs> I'll miss you too. All the way. Till next 
till I see you in Kenya? Yeah, I will. Um, I'm only kind of late. Okay, um, we'll see the evening, yes? Yes. Hi. Really nice. Are you sure? Yeah. I tried my best. I hope you're good. I hope so too. Sweetie, I'm sorry for keeping you in this room. Okay, friend, I'm a, I'm a my husband. Congratulations, Mr. Dilly George. Oh, sorry. I mean, uh, is it George Obi? Nice wife you've got. What a beautiful house you have, too. I see you have done your homework. Oh, you don't have to behave as if you've just seen a ghost. I'm the one who seen a ghost. Remember? to listen to your lies one more time. You're the cheapest human ever to walk on the surface of this earth. Marisa, please. This is not the right place or time to talk about this, okay? Okay, listen. We can't talk about it here because Barbie might... Yeah, right. We don't want the rich third and wife to know, church. I want my money. Is that clear? Yes. I will give you your money. I will give you everything. Provided you leave Kalamba as soon as possible. Please, you don't... Oh, come on, George. Come on, George. No! If you give me my money, I won't squeal. Yes, I will give you your money. But please, we cannot talk about it here. Yes, yes, yes. Find your place and we talk. Please, please, please. I'll call to give you the venue and then to meet.
you enjoying your meal. This meal is wonderful. Nice meal. Yes, onions. How did you find me? The same way you found me. So, what do you want from me? You said you're gonna call me to fix an appointment. I've not heard from you yet. <laughs> Dele, are you afraid I'll squeal? No, I'm just afraid you might do something stupid. Anna, look. I promise I will give you back your money. I just you pack your things and go back to Lagos. I won't be your fool twice. Just give me my money and I'll be out of here. Fine. Tell me the place and where so we can meet. I'll call you. I would really love for us to close up on the money. See. I said I would really love for us to close up. Besides, there are some personal things I want to tidy up before things begin to get very messy. See, it's definitely going to take more time than you figured. I don't care. I don't care. You're the banker, GD. I expect you to fix it as fast as possible. Oh, I will. You told me what came up that you so need the money. Urgently, I, I, I have to know. If there's anything I couldn't handle, I would have said it. So you don't worry. Just face your business, okay? George. Huh? George, is there any problem I need to know? Is there anything I need to know? I think you're taking the matter too seriously. I, I don't know what to believe anymore. My associates are breathing down my neck and I don't even know where my son-in-law is. Please, why don't you wait? Why don't you wait and hear from George? I suspect foul play from the bank. And I mean, you should just... Hello. Oh, how are you, baby? baby? Thank God you came at the right time. Daddy, what happened? You summoned me as if the house were on fire. Where is George? And why has he been avoiding me of late? He's in Abuja. He'll be back this weekend, though. Anything wrong? Both of you will have to excuse me. Uh, meanwhile, where is my granddaughter? She was sleeping when I left. Do you mind? I am discussing something very serious here. I'm very sorry, darling. Honey, when you finish, join me in the kitchen. All right, well. Sweetheart, the bank has drawn my attention to certain monies being withdrawn from the account. And only George and I know about the account. My associates are not happy. And I have to find George before everything blows up in my face. He will call me this evening. It's difficult for me to get in touch with him. The network over there is so bad. Is so bad. Well, <clears throat> when he calls you, ask him to leave everything he's doing in Abuja and come right back home. I need to speak with him. Okay? Yes, yes, that is okay. Um, 
Let me join Mom in the kitchen. Ciao. something so that I can win cheese confidence back again. Excuse me. Hello? Hello? Good looking, sweet talking guy. Every girl that sees him says my You have to make me wait out here like this. Well, what is it? Sorry. I'm late. Let's go. Let's go. Tina, just listen to me. Listen at me. Gina, what's going on? You're scaring me. What's happening? Tina, I'm on the run. I'm on the run. The bank, George, and Chief are all after me. As I talk with you now, I am very sure they're in my house. That is why I arranged that we should meet here. Chief, are you in some sort of trouble? Chief, you're going by happening in Bezley Public Forum through my bank. And George has been fronting for him. Oh, no. I happen to know all this. But what could I have done? What? Well, everything was just going on fine until George came on the scene. And George had been using me to siphon the whole money to his foreign account. Unfortunately for him, I outsmarted him. And I have given 60% of the money to a charity organization. And the remaining 40% I am keeping for myself. And see, look, we don't really have much time to explain all this. Chida, what's going to happen to us? I mean, for how long do you think you keep running? I want to go to Benin Republic. And I want you to come to me. Ah. Please, let's just go to Benin Republic. I want you to come with me. Please. See. I don't know the way to get out. Just go home now. Pack a few things, including your international passport, and come back to this pyramid hotel and meet me. We can run away together. And if from there we can go to any of these European countries, let's say Paris, or any of them, and get married immediately. I don't, I don't know what to say. I. If you say no, I will understand. But I am very, very sure we can make it together. Please. 
My auntie works at the British High Commission and we have a house in London. Maybe I can help. Maybe I can get us visas to go to London from there. As we get there. No. Chile, please be careful. Come on. What is going to go? Go wrong. Okay. <sighs> Contact with that. Just, just. That's it. Do you know where Tina is? Thought you said I shouldn't bother. But try her house. Of course, I have been to her house. Same story. Isn't there anywhere else you think she might be? Well, have you forgotten that I lost contact with Tina several years ago? Anything to do with my dad and his bank. George. There's no place like home, you know. Huh? Maybe I'll come visiting with my son. Okay. You can stay in my house if you like, you know. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what if we have a drink tomorrow, say, after lunch? Yeah, sure. That'd be cool. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So traumatized me. I hope I'm doing the right thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Okay. I'm almost at the peak of things. Um, uh, please, could you please help me check on our dial? I've not spoken to them for some time now. See you soon, okay? Bye. If I may ask, for how long did you cut your husband, George, before you guys got married? About a year. Why? I cut my husband for about a year. And 
things were so sweet for us both. I was heading a section of my father's business as the only child before he died and bequeathed everything to me. I made my husband the head of the business, thereby backing off to run the home. A year later, we had a beautiful baby boy. Mm -hmm. Here. That's him when he was one. Two years later, my husband had a cold deal to tie a Sierra Leone. He made me to sell off my stock, which was all I had for my father's business. While we were cutting, he told me he had no family as he was an orphan and was raised in the orphanage. He was on his way to Sierra Leone when he had a terrible motor accident and died. He did not leave any document concerning his deal and as such the money was not traceable. Three years later I stumbled upon some of his pictures. One on his fifth birthday with a woman he told me had died. The other while we were still married and with the same woman he told me was dead. I also found a slip of money paid into an account. So I became very confused. So I hired a private detective who trailed him down to Calabar and brought me some of his pictures. The pictures he brought happens to be the same as my husband. Can I show you something? It's not the right time to cry, okay? Can't be possible! It's not the right time to cry, okay? Okay? Just pull yourself together and plan your moves before he moves in on you. No, 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 no,
wants me. I promised to call him at about four. I think it's almost time. Can I, can I use the phone, please? Yes. It's me. Okay. I'll call my bank manager, then I'll call you back. into my account. Yes. I want to know how much and when. Yeah. I'll hold on. Okay. Yeah. That's the right amount. Thank you. of my money has been paid in. Exactly. Should I get something to drink? No, thank you. Look. Um, I'm sorry for all that's happened. How is Dio? You are dead. You won't to him. So don't even go there. Okay. Don't dare. Okay. I'm sorry, okay? Please. I'm sorry.
He still loves both of you. How dare you? How dare you? Don't you ever talk about love. Because you're a beast and do not know what love is all about. to disorder daily church church or or whatever you call yourself I think you're so pretty you destroyed that you are I little sons Oh, not Bobby. She doesn't deserve it. I've had enough. George. Bobby. Whatever you call yourself. I cannot believe that all we shared meant nothing to you. Please. I oh, swear to God, I will destroy you even if it's the last thing I do. I swear. Can you explain this? You bloody gold digger! Tell me, how many more lives will you destroy before you give up digging? How many? Now you listen to me. And listen good. I don't want you near me, or near my daughter, or near the house. I will send things to you. As of your money you invested in the company, I am saving that for Stephanie. Oh. But no, you can't do that! All my life is lit! And I have it lit! Bobby, please. Please. Good to you. I'll make excuses for you, my friends, and Stephanie. Or better still, put on all that death scam again. I'll give you money, enough money, just, just to go. Just go somewhere very far from Calabar. I don't ever want to see you again. Who knows, you might even dig a bigger gold there, since you're very good at it. God. George. I'm sorry, Ross. Want to calibrate any time with your son. I will assist you. I will help you in any way I can. You can even stay in my house if you like. Thanks, not okay. But I'd rather stay in Lagos. I'll definitely come visit it someday, okay? <laughs> Get out! 
conflict near public airports. Yes. Call me Dario. Hi, um, my taxi has a problem, so um, I'm in need of a ride to the next taxi park. Well, you're in love because I'm heading towards the front. Hop in. Great, thank you. Can I put this at the back? Sure. Thank you. From one girl to the other. Money on his mind. at the factories for the production of dolls, cute little dolls like you. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, care to see if I could um, produce uh, one of you in this country? Because uh, part of going to like half of the capital. Well, that sounds really interesting. Um, come Sure. Good looking. Every girl that sees him says, my oh my The ladies are falling and they like him They fall into his arms He falls into their pocket See them, love them, use them Dump them and be on your way That's the game he plays From one woman to another one plan to the other Soon he will vanish without a trace The two-faced lover never comes to stay Oh, 